Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another Minecraft discussion on this glorious day, surrounded by ferns. I think previously fiddleheads, I mean, it's all still ferns, but uh, little fiddlehead things are gone now, because they've all done, they did like this. Anyway, my name is Kimberly Quinn, and little Giovanni's here somewhere, there he is. And we are here to be your host and hostess with the most and mostest, and we've been talking a lot about you know, really finding your own purpose and 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 uh, pursuing those desires, those heartfelt desires. Because after all, that is why we're on this planet, right? To learn to to uh, learn how to love ourselves and each other better. But we can't give, or and we cannot give what we do not have. So, with this whole you know forward track, living your best life thing, right? We cannot do that without knowing our own value. We have to know our own value. It doesn't mean like you're done, but we have to be on the track with. You know, that practice of worthiness, just like anything else, what we practice, we get better at, right? So the knowing our own value, as far as this authentic path, fulfilling all those desires, living our best lives, we got it. We got to know our value, right? And then um, we also talked about, well, feeling, also feeling gratitude for the breadcrumbs all the way along, any kind of like small little movements forward, little things happen, even a phone call, whatever, small thank you, th put out to the universe, thank you, God, source, creator of all things, higher power, however you call it, but being aware of that divine connection, and being grateful forever, this is actually a really good metaphor, because I'm on the wide hiking trail right now, and there's G, so picture like little breadcrumbs along the way, leading right up there past that uh, little, you know, top of the hill is uh, the high meadow, where there's a phenomenal view of J Peak, it's just like really absolutely gorgeous and there's an orchard back there too so picture that's like where we're headed well actually it is where i'm headed and all the breadcrumbs being grateful for those grateful 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 and the other thing that's super huge and important it doesn't mean like you know that we we do this and then we're done we do, we're never really done it's it's all it's all a path just like this one and going forward but here's what i want to talk today about which is create the space it's just like anything else and Currently, my computer is a really good example because I think it needs a priest in holy water. It's just like going slowly. And it's just because I video. I have so much mem stuff in there. You know, uh, video takes up a lot of space and things like that. But it's, but the computer, not mine necessarily, because it's about videos and stuff. But let's say when the computer starts to get slow, right? And it was just cleaned out, actually. Um, it, it, we got to make the space. So it is a good example. All right, retract. Because we got to make the space. I had a lot, I had a lot of... Um, Oh, the, I, I took it to the help desk and they cleared out a, a lot of stuff and then um, and then it worked better like because it was faster because it cl they cleared out a lot of you know crap I don't know cookies and maybe some I don't know stuff that slowed it down was in there so that is actually a good example because we've got to create the space or we get clogged up just like a computer and then little circle spins around and we're waiting 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 and it's just moving slowly so we all these things we want to do with our lives this gift of life we've got on this beautiful planet, we've got to create the space by letting stuff go. Just letting it go. We can just kind of, and um, so it's, it's anything. It's anything that's negative, negative lim limiting beliefs in the unconscious. It's holding on to somebody did something to you or you did something to them. And it's all over for, you know, weeks and months and years, maybe even decades. Just letting it go because there is nothing heavier than a resentment. You know, gee, I think she sees something. Maybe not. Um, I think of barbells when I think of resentment. It's like, you know, like the big freestanding ones are just big and heavy. And it's just, as Wayne Dyer says, there are no justified resentments. Just got to let that stuff go. And I think, and you did something to somebody and there's guilt and shame. All those negative emotions are the biggest, think of them like the computer cloggers. They get, they're in our hard drive and they're slowing us down big time. Big time. And I think a lot of people get tripped up when it comes to letting stuff go because they think that forgiveness means that you give somebody a pass. And it absolutely does not. You know, it, or sometimes people have to wait for an apology. That's also not going to work if the person's dead. You know, the person who, the wrongdoer, perpetrator, whatever. Even if it's something huge on the scale of huge, we all know what that means, right? All kinds of assaults and, and you know, abuse and things like that. It doesn't mean any of it's okay. It just means that I, we don't have any use for it anymore. 
right? So when we let stuff go, it opens up that space where we can operate at maximum capacity. So the little circle's not going like this. It's just like, bing, there it is. Your heart's desire. There's there's a green light. Somebody just called you and there's a there's that job opening or there's that a lead to the job opening. Or, or like right now, the real estate's pretty locked up. Who knew? There's a there's an old there's an old couple who wants to get rid of the house, but they want to like who buys it. And now like there's your there's your in, you know that sort of thing. Well, that stuff isn't going to happen if you're all clogged up and moving slowly. So, um, what am I saying? Some people just don't like the word forgiveness, and that doesn't matter either. It's just a word, right? Letting it go, release, same thing you want to say. Uh, but one of my favorite definitions ever for forgiveness or letting it go or releasing or whatever you want to say it came from Claudia Black way back in the 80s when I was at St. Mike's and she came to visit St. Mike's and she she was um the pioneer one of them but in my world she was like top but uh pioneer for the ACOA or the adult children and alcoholics movement way back when and she's no bigger than a minute and a little spicy powerhouse she's amazing and she was like kind of walking back and forth with you know an auditorium filled I mean filled standing room only filled with adult children and alcoholics all just listening to her every word and she's we're talking about this, how people get so stuck. They get really super stuck with creating their space because they the, the main reason, there's a bunch of reasons, that waiting for an apology, waiting for the heavens to part, I don't feel ready to forgive. You're not gonna feel ready, you just have to choose it. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but the biggest reason, number one reason is, is that it gives that person a pass, like, and it doesn't. Again, they could be dead, they could be, you know, whatever, they could be in prison, they could be, um, just don't care, they're walking around on this earth someplace and don't care, meanwhile, it's affecting you, not them. <laughs> They're having the time of their life, maybe. Uh, and so here's, here's what she said to kind of bust through that old cliche of to forgive means to forget or forgiveness is forgetting. And, you know, that you're not really forgiving unless you, you know, you repair the relationship. That's all crap. Some relationships, example, child molester with a five-year-old, not a good thing to heal that really, right? I, it, you know, it's just that's heal you, yes, right? But some relationships aren't meant to to be resurrected, you know, and I would say many, 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 many are, but you'll know that, right? And some just aren't because sometimes people are just toxic. It's not the same as making a mistake, we, which we all do. We are all imperfect and it's important to embrace our imperfections and their imperfections and all that stuff. There's a difference between that and turpentine people. Like this is, there's a huge difference. Thankfully, most people are not there, right? But those people just need to be released. All right, so anyway. Um, okay, she said, little, little tiny Claudia Black said, forgiveness does not mean forgetting, right? It not only, so, so, so forgiveness does not mean we need to forget. Forgiveness is about remembering and choosing to move forward. Choosing to move forward. That means I get to decide. So we get, we take our control back from said person who assaulted us or let's you know there's like a, obviously a range of things we can do we can like say something like a tell somebody told a lie about you in third grade all the way up to assault right there's a whole range so so we when we when we we can when we realize we can choose to forgive somebody especially somebody who has really uh felt violated in whatever way verbally physically sexually emotionally all of it right then it's a really fabulous wonderfully empowering feeling to realize that we can choose to forgive and cho change the word, choose, choose to release, choose to let go and choose to move on and get our power back because we want to be in our power place. And I think what many people don't realize is that we hang on to stuff. It, it's, a, it's an illusion. It's an illusion that feels like power. People love hanging on to anger or they think they love it. They, it, it, cause it just, it does like, it's, it, cause it's really an ego fix, right? Ego is the evil twin of the authentic self. The authentic self has no use for hanging on to anything, especially not anger. And when we realize that that is an illusion, it's actually giving our power away on a silver platter, then it gets easier to let it go. Like, Hey, no, you know, wrongdoer, perpetrator, violator person, you know, uh, this gift of life is mine. I, it's, you're not, you've, you've taken enough from me whenever it was. And you're not, I'm taking my power back. You're not taking anything from me again. I got, I'm creating space. I'm creating this wide open space so I can uh, allow that loving partner in. Open the door for kids. Open the door for travel. Open the door to a new home. Open the door to, to pursue my passion project. Open the door to start a business. 
open the door to be free to be me to be free to be me and just be happy because you don't you're not you're not in my rib cage you're not in my frame i use that a lot i'm only in my frame basking in my authenticity and love and self-love and kindness and self-compassion there's no room for you in my frame of authenticity so be gone <laughs> spit them out so we really got to create that space by getting rid of all things negative resentment guilt shame um regret all this stuff and here's the other thing is we don't have to necessarily name those one by one. We don't have to, you know, dig deeply and, like, reside there. That's actually not good because then it just brings whatever memories we bring to the, you know, up to the surface um, are going to have the attached emotions. We don't really want that either. It is very okay to just let it all go. I just, just, just decide. Let it all go because another mistake, we talked about that a few minutes ago, is that people sometimes you know like oh i'm not ready like they're waiting to let stuff go well meanwhile your life minutes are going by and obviously there, there are exceptions to that if somebody was assaulted last night they may not be you know ready today but we we want to we do want to to feel is to heal you know talk and do all the things you need to do to heal your your mind and body and then make a choice because it's not like the forgiveness fairy just you know the, the clouds open and the forgiveness fairy comes down and sprinkles you know, forgiveness dust on everybody. That's not on you. I think I hear the caretaker, maybe. I was distracting. Okay, he's so nice. He's such a lovely, lovely older gentleman. I haven't seen him in ages. It's glad to have him back, actually. Um, so that's really it. we got to create the space. Remember, heart's desires, forward trajectory. We're on this path of meaning and purpose, living our best authentic life. And to do that, we have to know our value. We have to practice our worthiness. It's in there. We just have to you know, kind of dust it all off and practice it, rehearse it, rehearse feeling worthy. And while also feeling tremendous gratitude for the breadcrumbs along the trail, right? And creating the space. Because as just as we're letting stuff go, obviously life is continuing to move on. So there might be a new thing that we need to let go. So it's the thing is we're never really done. We're not done. We just keep moving forward, forward, forward. So we got, we're kind of doing this, these things sort of like, always like and I don't use those words very often you know, I'm not a fan of polarized words and we're talking about our life path we are walking balls of energy you know we are spiritual beings having a human experience and because we are around you know forever and, and energy doesn't get destroyed in this particular context it's okay to use uh polarized words because we will always be alive and it's just going to always go forward and so we need to continue to do these things all sort of the gratitude, you know, the mindfulness, the gratitude, and the letting go sort of consistently. And this is the way to uh, live our best life and, and, and sort of um, reach this lovely consciousness state of flow and fulfillment, which is miles above happiness. Happiness is certainly good, but fulfillment is the sauce on the Sunday. Okay, this is Kimberly Quinn with little Giovanni signing off from the notch at Northern Vermont. Have a mindful day.